Hello everyone, welcome to Running Hood. Today we will make a tutorial on how we can make sharp a katana. So it's a really long and you need to be patient for making a katana sharper or just sharp because it was not cutting, it, the edge was not sharp. So we will use five whetstones, we will use a 240 grit, a 600 grit, a 1000 grit, a 3000 grit and an 8000 grit. So the first rule is really important is the angle. The angle is 15 degrees, not 20 degrees. So to have that angle you will need to use your thumb and the half of your thumb will give you if you place the blade on the half of your thumb on your two thumb you will have the correct 15 degree angle so that's really important your muscle memory will give you the most important thing the angle when you get the angle you will have to keep it on every passes so that's the first rule. The second rule is the pressure. You will have to keep the same pressure on every passes on each side of the blade. So it will be four to six pounds pressure. You can check the pressure on a kitchen scale if you want it. Then it will be the number of passes. If you do five passes on the right and three on the left, the blade won't work because you have to get the same number of passes on each side of the blade. So please count your free passes on the blade. I give you the advice of just three passes, but you can get to five passes if you want. So we will do three passes on the right of the edge and three passes on the left of the edge with the same angle and the same pressure. We will use the entire body to get a fluid movement. So this is the number of passes. And your edge will be centered by that equivalent number of passes on each side of the blade. Then you will have to keep your stone wet. So every time you can put some water to get your water stones with more fluid and that will help the edge and the sharpening process. So always put some water every passes or every three passes or every five passes. By keeping the water stones wet, you will have a better sharpening process because the water put out the steel that is take off by the sharpening process. So you have to feel it. The entire body movement by the sharpening process. And when the blade is sharpening, you feel with the correct angle, the number of passes and the pressure and with the water on your stone that is the correct uh, process. Then you check with paper. The paper check is really important because with the paper check you can feel if your blade is sharper and that is correct or if your blade is less sharp that is not correct. So if the blade is less sharp that means that you didn't do the same number of passes or that the pressure were not the same on the right side of the blade or on the left side of the blade. If the result is correct, the paper will be really easy to cut even on small pieces because small pieces get less inertia so it's more difficult. At that moment you will have a really easy cutting test with your sword and there we have a really sharp katana, not razor sharp but really sharp and it's enough for cutting omote. 
So thank you guys for having watched this video and see you soon on Running Hood.